Well, everybody loves their sweet potatoes on Thanksgiving, and typically we still sometimes have to have them with the melted marshmallows on top. So this year I'm going to do it a little differently. Instead of marshmallows, we're going to have this cookie crumble. So I'm going to show you how this comes together. So what I did was last night I baked off the sweet potatoes and this recipe will call for four sweet potatoes, but I just have two here because I wanted to show you once they bake and cool, you can just peel the skin right off. So once you get your sweet potatoes peeled, you want to get them into, into a measuring cup and you're just going to start mashing them together a little bit. And then we're going to get in here about half a cup of milk and then I've got about two tablespoons of melted butter. One of the things about these potatoes is they're heavy on the cinnamon. And then just a little hit of brandy. That also helps. It's a nice spicy flavor that kind of gives you a good little kick and a little bit of a caramel flavor as well. So get these all mashed up. And then you're going to spread this into your baking dish and go ahead and heat them through for about 20 minutes depending on how cold they are. So for our crumble, I've got some toasted pecans, and this is about two pieces of bacon that I chopped up. And then these are just those almond wafer cookies. So I'm just gonna get a few of these in here. So I've got my sweet potatoes out of the oven and they're warm through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get our crumble over the top. This is our mix of pecans and cookie and bacon and it's, I know the bacon's a little strange, but it's actually very nice. So get this back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes to get nice and toasted. You can even put it under the broiler and that would go a little bit quicker. And then you have a wonderful sweet potato recipe that I'm sure everyone at your table will love. So you can find this recipe in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv.